Hello guys, welcome back to Abstronic Circuit Tutorial. The topic, how the PWM working by using any 555 timer IC. So let's start it from 1 kilo ohms resistor. The 1 kilo ohms resistor is used to control the current flowing from the BCC, some current flowing through the pin 7 and back to the ground. And some portion of the current just flowing through the diode 1, entering to the left pin of the variable resistor and going out from the middle pin and charging the capacitor and also the 1 kilo ohms resistor is used to control the flow of the current to the capacitor and the diode 1 just allow one direction so therefore the current from the BCC flowing through 1 kilo ohms and entering to the diode 1 flowing through variable resistor and through the capacitor the pin 7 is used to reducing the voltage deposit from the capacitor via variable resistor from middle pin and going out from the right pin then flowing to the anode of the diode 2 and going out from the cathode then flowing to pin 7 and back to the ground. So therefore, the diode 2 just allow the current from capacitor to discharge to pin 7. The variable resistor acting as a voltage divider to controlling the current flowing through the capacitor and through the diode 2 at the same time. Then the signal frequency and the voltage from the output also varied according to the adjustment of the variable resistor. The 330 ohms resistor is used to control the flow of the current flowing through the lead and the lead acting as a load. Now, let's go back to the variable resistor. So when the resistor turn to the left, then the middle pin to the left pin will be reducing the resistance. At the same time, the middle pin to the right pin, the resistance will be increasing. So let's try rotating the variable resistor fully to the left. Then the middle pin to the left pin, the resistance is zero. At the same time, the resistance 
from middle pin to the right pin is 50 kilo ohms. So therefore, the current from the BCC flowing smoothly through 1 kilo ohms entering to the diode one and easily flowing through the left pin of the variable resistor to the middle pin and the capacitor right now the charging is at the maximum level at the same time the small amount of current also flowing through the diode to and flowing through pin 7 and back to the ground. So therefore, the output from pin 3 right now at the maximum voltage. Now, let interchange the adjustment of the variable resistor. So let's turn the variable resistor fully from middle to the right. So therefore the resistance will be zero ohms. At the same time, the middle pin to the left pin, the resistance is 50 kilo ohms. Now, let's see what happened to the circuit. Since the middle pin to left pin is 50 kilo ohms, then the current from the BCC flowing to 1 kilo ohms and entering to the diode one and going out from the cathode then entering to the left pin and this current just a small amount simply because the resistance from middle pin to left pin is 50 kilo ohms. Therefore, the charging from the capacitor right now is very low. At the same time, large amount of current leaving from the capacitor entering to the middle pin and going out from the right pin and flowing through the diode two and going out from the cathode then entering to pin seven at the same time you can see at pin three the lead is glowing very weak so take note guys Always using lower capacitance of the capacitor to avoid the output will be logic low. So since the capacitor is lower capacitance, then the output is very high frequency. So therefore, we cannot see the LED flashing or turn on and off simply because of the high frequency. So that is how the PWM working. Now let's see from the actual circuit on my breadboard. Circuit on my breadboard.
right, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe my channel, like and share.